Okay, so let's look closer on the devices. And devices or nodes, if you prefer this name, it's one of the most important part of the world machine and most powerful, and also provide very unique result that you cannot find in some other applications they're using. So overall, you can take a world machine creating and using in other applications. First off, the world machine does not have it its own render engine. It just provide final result. The output or final result can be provided as the height map or mesh output. Sadly, it does not provide any direct procedural or functional output so you can connect with, for example, procedural terrain inside the VU and go straight forward with this. Maybe in some future it will, but currently you have it only two ways you kind of can export by the mesh creating OBG object or by the providing um, image map, height map of the with the different effect. So this is a way you can output. Again, this is procedural terrain and effects it's provided with a natural selection or with the generators. This is what make this application stand out. So in my um, experience, I think these generators is most important to understand how they work to get very result you need it. Of course, we will have a special section on a layout itself, which is a very powerful section and combinations with the devices layouts. You can create almost any possible terrain you can imagine. So right here we have our devices and you can access device properties specifically to the device by double time clicking or selecting the properties or you can also access the device generic properties which I just did by selecting device and right click. So you notice right here we have a properties view output. This will bring you directly to output your preview that you can same way you can control it and view them. You have a lock preview device. It's meaning right here if I go to terrace and I lock device you can see preview lock now my previews whatever even I select a pern it's one changes always will display to the node or to the device that I currently lock as a preview okay next you also have it set device hint units if it's normal to rain on a mask and we'll look on this in future you have it also get device description so it's provide a little bit more information for you as well you can set the name for the device and it's uh, whatever you like it name it so it will pop up right here it's kind of nice easy to access does not change any functionality of the device you also have it set properties it's the same things if you just double left click on device so you can access properties of currently device okay we can disconnect device for example, if you have too many nodes, you can click and it will automatically disconnect them. Okay, you can disable or bypass next. So what is meaning right here? Let's go. We'll select, um, click on node selecting, and right here I have it there. So I don't want this device to perform any. I can disable the device. So it's one pass, or let me enable. I can bypass. Bypass, you see like right here we have a red line over. It's kind of symbolize nothing happened. Our Perlin uh, noise going straight to the high output, avoiding tears. Sometimes you want use of these options when you have it complex maybe settings to bypass devices. So see how that will affect straight or what effect maybe this specific device just does. Okay, let's remove this one. We also can delete device. Again, by clicking this, it will initiate the warning message. You can also delete by select and hit delete key. Or if you hold down shift delete, it will delete without warning. Okay, we also can convert to the macro. If we have it multiple devices and you have a nice workflow down, you can convert this to the macro and this is provide easy way for you to store reuse that macro maybe in future or share with um, co-workers or with community.
Okay, and of course next we have a group selected devices. So what we did before when I create additional group right here. Let me move away. You can create additional group and it's help you to organize your content in a view. It does not affect anyhow functionality. It just provide a nice layout, a nice control. And how I say after using for some time, I find this is very good for organization. And I wish some other applications have these options as well.